Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave comments below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. All right, Dream Team, as we're getting right to it. Who are we talking about today? The New York Knicks, man. The New York Knicks. Yes. Currently. First of all, shout out to my man, uh, Amir Sheik. All right. Shout out to him. Diehard Knicks fan. All right. And Larry Sarka. All right. Larry Sarka goes back when I went to school where he's been. He's been a Knicks fan. Right. Wearing his same Knicks jersey every day. <laughs> the same jersey every day. All right. Yeah. Diehard fan. All right. Well, shout out to them, man. Larry Sarka. Well, we're talking about the Knicks, man. They're currently standing uh, or sitting 13 and 15, seventh seed in the East. Most people would say, well, two games below 500. Seventh seed. If the playoffs started today, they would be in there. What I said, wait a minute. You know me. I'm I'm petty. I love to tell you. I told you so. Yeah, Eastern Conference preview. Video floating around. Yeah. Go back. Yeah, check it. Check it out, man. Before the season started, this is what I called for the Knicks. The Knicks would be in the playoffs. But I might been I might be wrong because the trade they just made with Derrick Rose. Dennis Smith, all right. And for Dennis Smith, you know, Dennis Smith wasn't even being used. And then you can get a player like Derrick Rose. That was that was big. That's that, that says that their office is is actually making some positive moves. Leon Rose, yeah, right? Right. Yeah. So now they get Derrick Rose, and I didn't know how they were going to actually use him because Peyton, I like, I like him at the point. Oh, A lot right, of people yeah. is not pleased with him, but I I like him because he he d's up and. I remember when he first came in the league, he looked small, but he didn't grew into his body and yeah, everything. Orlando, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. looks, he looks, he looked big as a point guard, and I didn't know how they were going to use him, but I see how they're using him. He's still starting, and they're playing quickly, and and rolls together, and mm. that's two guards that quick with the ball, keep so, you on your heels, and speeding the game up a bit, and uh, and helping them get inside the paint, and it's and it's going to help athletic bigs like. Ob Toppin, yeah, yeah, they got a good, nice little mixture over there. Young uh, players as well as some veterans like um, Taj Gibson's over there now. D Rose, as you stated, is yeah. there now. Right, Julius Randle is balling. He's, he's an all star. He's an all star. Like, I mean, he's an all star. The, the game, I, I still think he, offensively, he, I think he need to come off so much offense, not stop with his offense because I like his offense, mm-hmm. but he he looked to score too much. I think he should. Try to make the players around him better, but his offensive game is becoming smooth, man. Yeah, real smooth. And and that's the thing. Last year when he was doing it, a lot of people was complaining about it, but he's that helped him develop to where he, where he's here is now. Yeah, and I can see where he's going. Yeah, and this matter of fact, is he not a free agent? They he signed saw, a two year deal with them, right? I right. believe so. so is this is the second year. Right. See. The, <laughs> Every time I try to say something good about the Knicks, is <laughs> I tell you it always come. Nah, because but, this is the type of thing that happened with them. Yeah, you didn't lock him in, and now he plays his best ball this year. And either you're gonna throw him too much money, or you're not gonna throw him enough, and he's gonna leave. And but nobody can offer what they can, right? That's the point. Mm-hmm. We're talking about Dolan. Yeah. But they, like I said, I think his name is Leon Rose, right? These um, right. basketball operations. Well, he seems to be doing. Uh, he has relationships with players, and he seems as though he know exactly what he's doing. He's not jumping out the window off the roof, right? Signing bad deals. So, I, Randall, if if you want to continue to play this way, you can't go you, nowhere don't go else because you need to stay right there. Yeah, and because I like what he's doing, and then uh, R.J. Barrett, you know, he's gotten better. He's 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 coming to himself. Yeah. Um, I I believe well, the way Randall plays, like it's no room for you to think that you you're the number one option, you know. And yeah. I, I always thought that that was Barrett's problem. I always not that he's I, not a star. It's always about expectations. But I like, think he 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 felt he's a superstar, and I mm-hmm. think he you know when you got Tibbs, he's gonna he's he's gonna humble you. Yeah. You know, either you're gonna play this way or you won't be no star at all. You'll be. On the bench. Yeah, man. Yeah. Man. Tibbs is doing a great job, man. Quiet yeah. as cap. He turned the lights back on in the garden. Yeah. They're playing winning basketball. Well, Leon Rose, he hired the right coach. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So shot New York Knicks. New- I'm, I'm going to constantly be coming back with these New York Knicks 
episodes for the simple fact that I could say, I told you so. Yeah. When the when the diehard Nick fans was thought I was clowning them by saying it. Oh, so they didn't believe. Is no. What you're saying. But I'm, I got to be honest. Um, I'm I've always been a, a Nick hater, mm. and, and it wasn't too much to, to hate on because they were what they were. <laughs> Almost a decade since they've been in the playoffs, yeah. right? And I'm. I came in before the season started and said that this will be the year that they might make the playoff. If they're not, they at least make a run for it. But what the moves I'm watching them make right now, I believe that the Knicks can possibly move up to a six. Up. I mean, you got to look at what's again. There's a lot of teams that's fall that's supposed to be elite. That's they're got, not that elite. In the you East. got cash. That's what the fourth or fifth seed sitting at thirteen and thirteen. Right, five hundred. So exactly what you're saying isn't far fetched. It's yeah. not crazy. Mm. And like with the new rules with the play in, even mm. if they don't make the eighth seed, you can still play your way into it. Yeah. So they got a lot of wiggle room there. Mm-hmm. Pretty much the ball is in their court. If they mess it up, you can't blame anyone else mm. but yourself. Can't listen, we can't Rivers that's big. Man, that's a quality pickup. Yeah. I I like what the Knicks are doing over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're signing to minimum deals. They're not locking themselves into bad contracts. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So shout out to the Knicks, man. Yeah. Looking good thus far. Sitting at 13 and 15 in the Eastern Conference, 7th seed. They're looking okay for the Eastern Conference. I'm not going to get carried away. <laughs> We're not gonna Listen, get carried I'm, away. Trying, I'm trying to be diplomatic about yeah. it. You know, we're on the same page with that. But uh, got to show them some love, though, because that's, that's what we do here. And Because, see, this, this is the thing. I give up the credit when it's time to. Because I'm an NBA fan. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I can't be like the haters that, like the hate on... I can't call out his name because especially when you're talking about the Knicks because the Knicks, they hate this dude. So I'm not even going to use the King's name. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 yeah. but there's, a, there, there's players that do great things and people constantly hate on them. Um, me and the, and the Knicks fans stay in it. We, um, we were always constantly debating and debating and debating, trash talking each other. And But when it's time to give it up, you, you give it up. You can't sit around hating on and, and wishful thinking and all that because I like what the Knicks are doing and I'm going to talk about what, what they're doing. If I don't like it, I'll be back to let you know. No I, was, <laughs> I was delusional <laughs> like you guys, but I really do think they're going to make a playoff well, run. Well, thus far, you're looking like a prophet, man. So we're going to run with that, man. If y'all don't believe what Monk stated about his prediction, go back to the Eastern Conference playoff uh, preview. Um, not even the Eastern Conference season preview we did early in the season. Mm-hmm. I'll put the link above. Check that out. Towards the end, he stated, it's a possibility the Knicks may make the playoffs. And if the season ended today, guess what? Seven seed. They're in the playoffs, man. Yep. Anything else you need to say? That's it. All right, man. So shout out to your man, Amir. Shout out to Larry Sarka. Larry Sarka. All right. This is our Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. Once again, I'm your host, Earl Tima. Big Good. Unk is my co-host. Get well soon, Miss Robinson. All right, get well soon. And um, don't forget, leave a comment below. What you think about the Knicks? Do you believe New York Knicks fans? Are y'all going to the playoffs? Or do you feel as though you're going to fall apart? Uh, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you know Dream Team is when we upload new content. We out of here.